the whirlwind of the offseason has come to an end, and obviously we can start to focus on week one against the Jets. Obviously, as the dust continues to settle around Trent Williams' extension, around Brandon Ayuk's extension, Trent was asked a really interesting question, and I thought he gave an absolutely phenomenal response. And again, just speaks to the leadership and, again, the difference that players have around these negotiations opposed to fans or maybe even someone in the front office. So I think it's just uh, an invaluable insight into the mind of a player as they go through these negotiations because obviously with everything being out there in the public, it becomes such a everyone's giving their opinion on it, right? And so as we know, Brock Purdy is going to be not only the number one guy for the San Francisco 49ers, he's going to be one of the number one guys in the entire NFL who needs a contract next year. So take a listen when Trent is asked about this situation with Brock and what his expectation is and how he will be there to support Brock through that situation. Take a listen to Trent Williams right here. Awareness did you have, if any, that next season – you know, the priority is going to be Brock. The team has been pretty public about it. Um, yeah, going through this. Yeah, I, um, I mean, I, I, of course. I think I'm, I want all my teammates to get paid. I want them to get every red cent that they deserve, every red cent that they can. So Brock has obviously uh, outplayed a, <laughs> a Mr. Irrelevant contract. So, I'm, I mean, I would be thrilled, absolutely thrilled, to not only see but to watch his life change you know, after something like that, because he 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 deserves it. If there's any great American story that you can look for in the NFL, it's this one right here. You know, if nobody ever thought that he could do what he did. Um, still doesn't look to par when you bring in your last first round quarterbacks. You're probably gonna look at him and be like, he doesn't fit, but he's better than all of them. And um, I think his play speaks for itself. Um, so. Super, super proud of him, man. I love the kid to death. Uh, he deserves every dollar coming his way. And, yeah, I'm, I want to be a part to help him get to what he, exactly he deserves. Now, you love to hear that from Trent Williams because he is the alpha in the locker room. And we've brought up this image on the show many times when talking about Trent Williams. Just, again, it's a How to Train Your Dragons reference. You've got all of your dragons, but then you got the alpha of all the dragons, and that is Trent. He is that guy who's going to be that that voice in the locker room who is going to stand up not only for himself, but for other players in that locker room. And again, I think it's important to hear how these guys talk about that because we understand this is a cutthroat business. And at the end of the day, that's what it is. The 49ers are trying to make the most money po possible. Hey, these players are trying to make the most money possible it's a business this these are their jobs these are their livelihoods and while they are putting their livelihoods at stake due to injury and all these different types of things you want to go out and maximize your value that's what the the name of the game is even though i know it takes away from what happens on the field it takes away from the game that we love you know as fans and, and what what we want to pay attention to it's it's a part of the reality. It, this is the, the NFL. It is a business. And I would say, like, well, if you don't want any of that stuff, go to college. But college isn't even that anymore. College is now a business with now the NIL deals and, and sponsorships and all those types of things. So, unfortunately, it just comes with the territory. So, I think, you know, obviously, when Brock is going to get paid, a lot of these same conversations are going to be had. A lot of people think, oh, Brock's going to take a discount, this, that, and the other thing. And I fully disagree with that. He is going to uh, go out and seek market value. And if he has a really, really good season, market value could be very, very high. So as a result of that, I'm expecting a uh, another kind of difficult uh, negotiation. I'm not sure it will be public. I would imagine that that will try to be kept in house as much as possible, obviously, uh, until things start to hit the, hit the fan a little bit, just kind of like what we saw with the Trent stuff, you know, 
for the most part was kept inside closed doors and when it got to that breaking point you started to hear the stuff come out into the media that's kind of the typical you know situation with all of that so uh, but again i just love trent because that's who he is that he's the alpha in the locker room and he is going to already advocate for Brock Purdy to get every single penny that he is he is valued and that's how these players operate and again you 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 heard it from him he's like I I I want all these players to get every dollar everything and you know when you have a guy like that in your locker room uh who's that prominent uh, I think you will be able to see guys like Brock be more confident when they come to the negotiation table. Obviously, they have their agents do all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I, I get that part of it. But I think when it comes to standing your ground and, you know, obviously these negotiations, especially with the 49ers, can be volatile from everything we've not only seen but heard behind closed doors that, that's that comes along with the territory. So uh, obviously, you know, we're, we're not going to talk about that all that much. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, you know, Brock's future contract negotiations get brought up every now and again throughout the season, but it's not going to be a focus. And I'm really excited to finally put all of this kind of off season conversation and talk behind us and really transition into week one it, it, it feels crazy to me because it does feel like the offseason just ended it feels like the the trent williams signing was like the official close to the 49ers offseason even though it you know i would say i typically say training camp is the end of the offseason for me specifically because that is when preparations for the year begin practices begin and you roll that into week one but we had so much off field drama with the contracts that just finally ended that it really didn't feel like the off season had ever fully ended. So it has now it has now it's officially week one. We have football in less than a week feels absolutely amazing. What did you think about what Trent had to say? What do you think about the whole Brock Purdy contract negotiation? Do you think he's, going to take a discount or do you think he's going to get everything that he's worth let me know what you guys think in the comments below and as always make sure to like and subscribe for more updates